Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Nico Thread. Today we're going to be making tie and dye curtains. So I cut out some shapes for the patterns that I wanted. You can use ordinary cardboard and have some rubber bands. So you take the cloth, uh, make it wet, um, then uh, lay it out on a flat surface to the size that you want and just flip it in a kind of reverse order where you flip on one side and then you flip on the other side try to keep it flat after that i'm doing a square shape so i'm going to do the same thing flip it um, in a square kind of form so that it may fit with the shape that i've cut uh, adding some space and then get a rubber band get many rubber bands and tie and try to make it as tight as possible to reduce the amount of dye that will enter and then that's one design and then for the triangle make the same kind of flipping uh, movement but with a triangle um, shape and you can use the cutout to kind of give you the size that you want and you get the shape same thing we did with the squares and um, you will look for the rubber bands and again use rubber bands or you can use uh, some kind of tight string but rubber bands work just fine just try to make it tight as possible and then for my last cloth I did a ordinary tie and dye with a radio effect so I got rubber bands and I put them at different distances away from the cloth um, try to make the distances as even as possible really with your eye after that I pour in hot water in a bucket um, then I put in the color you can just get like a test cloth or remember to protect your hands from um, the paint because it, it can um, be a bit harsh to your skin and also the fumes so I get a test cloth to test the color that I wanted I wanted some kind of gray like color and that's what I got and then I also had um, a salt and a stabilizer if you can get the cloth if you can get the stabilizer and the paint or all in one then do but if you can't then you'll have to buy them separate and still protect yourself after that immerse your clothes in the bucket to soak and just try to make sure they all fit in uh, well you're gonna leave this for a couple of hours maybe two to four hours after that you rinse it out and let it dry out in the sun and there you have it you have your curtain that's the triangular shape and then um, you have also the box shape and yeah then you have beautiful curtains I hope you enjoy this and you go out to do your own